you know, and this is going to sound, oh, that's just James White being mean again. I don't know what he got for this debate. Uh, I know he walked out of the debate with me with a check for $5,000 in his pocket. And the leading critic of New Testament Christianity doesn't seem to know about any of those things because where's the only books you'd ever find those things in? From believing scholars that he doesn't believe are worth the time of his time to read. And so the result is he ends up telling his debate <coughs> opponent, you're creating, you're, you're falling into a third century heresy when he is not even close to falling into that third century heresy. He's not identifying Sabellianism correctly, and he doesn't understand the Christian doctrine of the Trinity either. Now, don't get me wrong. The vast majority of the people in our churches wouldn't get it right either. Let's be honest about it. In fact, uh, what if I passed out a quiz right now? Uh, how many would feel overly confident in doing better than Dr. Ehrman when it comes to adoptionism or uh, Apollinarianism or... Uh, any of the other early Christological issues, what, what is monothelitism, what's duothelitism, okay, I get it. But I'm not writing books like Dr. Ehrman, instructing the whole world about how biblical Christianity hasn't been able to get it right for 2,000 years. He is, therefore I think it's appropriate to hold him to a little higher standard, uh, given the fact that he's being paid handsomely uh, for what he's doing. I don't know what he got for this debate, uh, I know he walked out of the debate with me with a check for $5,000 in his pocket. Uh, so, uh, and I can guarantee you, he's making a whole lot more than that on his books. I don't know what he got for this debate. Uh, I know he walked out of the debate with me with a check for $5,000 in his pocket. Uh, it was a facepalm moment, okay? It was a facepalm moment. It really was. It's just, it's just, he's, he's sort of a semi-miserable uh, agnostic, I think, if, if, that's a, if that's a category to put things in. But I'm certain that his royalty checks make him a somewhat happy agnostic uh, because he's, he's certainly, certainly pulling it in. He was paid well for being there. This is a study in how you can manipulate ignorant people.